Let's get rid of some stuff. Okay. Okay. like a night theme of this level. Yeah, it's nice. Kind of wish more, more of the levels had like a day and night theme going on. Oh, I tried. I don't know if we've ever, if we've talked about this before, but, uh, we probably have, I don't remember, but I do like how the episode A in a level is basically just the civilians, um, uh, just kind of having a party or rejoicing, uh, because, like, all the, all of Shadow Mario's, uh, misdeeds have been cleared up and taken care of, so they just, they're just kind of chilling and just having a good time at that point. Which I guess, may, when you consider that, it makes sense why a lot of them are 8 red coin missions, but still. Oh, okay, I didn't mean to jump that high. <laughs> uh, dang. Yeah. Alright. This mother hugger spits out juice. I can't. <laughs> okay, final time we're gonna see that, I think. So, uh, did Shadow Mario steal Yoshi too? <laughs> I guess so, yeah. Okay, so, um, yeah, this is hated by a lot of people. Um, and not... This... Not completely unjustified. Uh, basically what happens is... You need to make sure you, um... Uh, you're lined up with the... With these Chucksters, <laughs> I guess, as best as possible. Because, um, the way... The way you talk to them is uh, how you're going to get thrown, and you can kind of adjust it by using the analog stick back and forth, but um, only to a to a on, only by a little. Well, you can change it quite a bit actually, but um, the initial like talk to the piantas themselves is more or less the do or die part, but. Uh, if you're just if you're patient with what you're doing, it's honestly not that bad. Um, but it is a little bit tedious, I guess, and it's definitely not my idea of a final secret course challenge at all. But if they have a porn stash that you have for strike. <laughs> um, I don't think it has anything to do with it. And design, I just know that the small ones uh, throw you the least amount of distance. Think of it, they have, they got the mustaches, so now they're strong, just like Mario. <laughs> I guess so. Do you remember how there was an enemy in this game and 64 had stole your hat? Oh yeah. Is that Cause bad luck. If they stole the mustache, you'd lose all your strength. Hmm. There we go. Okay, first try. That was good. Yeah. I understand why that level's hated so much. I honestly think it's a little bit over-exaggerated, but, um... No, right, you just took your time. Yeah, it, you just kind of have to take your time. Don't rush that, because you'll, you're not gonna... It, it just doesn't work. But... It's why... It's why I, um, would say... Uh, not Pinner Park. Um... Noki Bay has my favorite secret course because that's the final one where it's a legit, legitimate like challenge where you're just the platforming. Yeah, actual platforming, and it's uh, the probably the most interesting one in the game. Whereas this one is literally just Piantas throwing you around, and there's nothing platforming about it. It's just 
I don't know, it's kind of a weird way to end the secret courses. They just want something different. <laughs> yeah, I guess they, yeah, I guess they just wanted to do something different, but... I feel like if they wanted to do something like that, they probably should have placed it somewhere else and not had not had it be the last one. But I don't know. I don't think considering how the difficulty for these levels, those secret courses tends to scale or not scale. I don't think Nintendo was thinking too hard about escalating them. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The the, the difficulty <clears throat> for the secret courses is like it's kind of like just all over the place. Cause like you start with a pretty difficult ones in Bianco Hills, um, you get a decently challenging one in Rico Harbor, and then you get like one of the easiest ones in Galato Beach, and uh, kind of just fluctuates randomly. It's weird. Okay, now we have Flood. Uh, this is a bit more comfortable just getting around here normally. Sometimes you're still gonna have to use this chuck chucksters though. Yeah, it's just honestly how I feel about most of this game's complaints. Like, at times I get it, but I feel like this game's difficulty is like highly exaggerated half the time. I don't know. I'm sure why he's in. Enemies are here. They just kind of come out of the wall. <laughs> How do you like? Oh gosh, the poor Piazza. Yeah, especially like being over like bottomless pit like this. That was the guy just watching. Yeah, I was like, <gasps> not gonna do anything. Are those mushrooms grow back or something? Mm, I guess. Oh, okay. You didn't even. Do oh, anything. he's got, he's got mushrooms like in a backpack. Mm hmm. All right. That's 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 disturbing. <laughs> so, how far did you get in this game again? I forget. Very far. Hmm. I'm kind of curious to know what's over on the <laughs> on the right there, but at the same time, I. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use Chuckster, I'm not... Hover's not gonna last that long. Oh well. Now, 75% of the way done with Collected Shines. Yay! From... I have enough to get up to like 112 shine. Enough blue coins to get up to 112 shines, so... Yeah. We're like 90% done. Yep. And a lot of blue coins are going to be in this level from just doing the main stage or the main episode itself because you need to save the Piantas and a good chunk of them give you blue coins. But you're also on a, on a timer so you can't just stand around. Chuck you. What, this guy, or the ones you save? What? <laughs> That's a village elder, it seems. <laughs> no, he doesn't, he doesn't truck you. <laughs> oh, come on. It's a little bit more awkward when they're tiny. Oh, me! <laughs> I think it might just be the big ones that give you blue coins, I could be wrong. <laughs> Scrubbing like their shower. Yeah, it's like I, I totally wasn't just bathing in uh, like lava goop. It's it's all fine. Oh, okay. I guess you throw me for some reason. <laughs> Come on. Yay. I I know you can only say so much because uh, it's a uh, there's a. There's a there's a difference between like watching and playing, but how do you generally found like the difficulty, like scaling and just general challenge for this game from what you've watched? It's 
The game's not exceedingly hard outside of the secret courses and a few... It's just it's a lot of busy work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, like, I'm... I think, honestly, the worst of it is probably just the pachinko machine, because besides that, um, there are some annoying busy work missions and some annoying things like dealing with the uh, watermelon, but... I don't know. Most of this game is, uh... That's it. Hmm? And most of it is fair, I mean, less... Yeah. Arguably less nonsense than a lot of the 3D platformers that preceded it in the prior generation. Yeah. Especially, like, all the things, all the kind of games I played now after this game, because, like... For a time, this was, like, one of the hardest games I played. But, like, now that I've played a lot more games and a lot more 3D platformers and stuff, um, like, I've played much, much, much uh, harder than this, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it generally, I, I find this game to be pretty comfortable, a pretty comfortable ride. Not as- I'm not gonna necessarily call this game easy, because it's, it's far from that, and there's a lot of de decently challenging moments. But, again, I just find people over-exaggerate how hard this game actually is, but, you know, that's just me. Eight blue coins. Um, we have, well, 29, so only got one left. Do episode 7 or 8 have a blue coin? 7, no, 8, yes. Okay, so we're fine then. I don't remember, um, I, I, I don't remember about Galaxy 1, because it's been so long, but I remember uh, the uh, Galaxy 2 honestly being, like, in terms of, like, 100% completion, I, I remember that being a lot more difficult than this game, honestly, but either way. Galaxy 1, I tapped out at 80 stars. Yeah, it, I remember some stars in that game being really annoying. Um, like, I, I feel like the hardest stage in the game for me was uh, multi, multi mountain Molten Galaxy with a Daredevil. Like, that took me for eight. That took me forever to complete. But I'm interested when I get to those games because it's been years since I've touched either of them. Yeah, this is uh, not much different from the other ones. He, it's just the fact that he has lava goop, so just be a little bit more careful, but other than that, it's the same as always. Pissing himself while he runs. <laughs> Basically. Too bad the M doesn't count as a blue coin, though. So this is your last uh, chance to be able to do your line. Still not awake. <laughs> oh yeah. And just random cloud enemies because why not? <laughs> uh, I love flood just going crazy. Uh, that was easy. Yeah. All right. Okay. So this is what happens when you do all the episode seven challenge uh, missions. Shadow Mario just goes into Delfino Plaza itself, and now you can go to Corona Mountain and finish the game. And somehow the place is flooded. Some I, I don't know how. <laughs> I I don't know how. Like it's never it's never explained. But I guess I don't know. They don't even. They just sent you right into it. Yeah. So we need to get blue coins in Corona Mountain anyway, so what we're gonna do is, uh, clear out- Oh, you can actually get hurt from him. Can this. I go to episode 8 for the Piazza Village? Uh, yeah, so like... You- you need- you need the blue coins here anyway, so you can get all of them for 120 shines. Uh, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna try and get all the blue coins- I'm just gonna- Huh? The village first, we 
We're not gonna clear out Pianta Village first. Well, what, what, what's gonna happen? We're gonna get, get the blue coins here uh, and then e exit. Exit when we do that and uh, die, apparently. Um, and then clear out Pianta Village because. Um, yeah, we, we're, we're gonna have to go through this place twice anyway, so. And I think you need to. I think in order to. Um, oh crap. Oh my goodness. I'm timing stuff really badly right now. But, um, yeah, I think to enter the airstrip now, uh, you actually have to, um, enter Corona Mountain. So I think as soon as we leave this place, we can technically go to the airstrip whenever we want now. So, that's handy. We might actually be, uh, making good time to actually finish the game tonight if we, if all fi everything goes to plan. Alright, this is, uh, really, okay, th this is a section I agree with the majority on, because, uh, you have to try and tr use this boat to traverse through this, this area, and as you bump into anything, it just breaks, and you just fall into the lava. So, um, yeah, not the biggest fan of this. Careful. And somehow all this water is like inside this volcano. And some of the most precariously pre placed blue coins around here too. Just gotta take it slow. Nope. Yeah. Let's take it slow and steady. Lined up for you, like schmuck bait. Yeah. Oh, I don't like how tight some of these are. And you don't get another boat, by the way. Okay. I'll I'll save for the next one. Actually, no. Uh, hmm. No, 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 no. Too close. Yeah, I'm, I've never been... I never liked doing this. <laughs> It's also the only real, like, Bowser level in the game, really. Expect, I, since I have no sound play, I was expecting the Mario 64 Bowser stage team playing. <laughs> well, this, well, this theme is uh, pretty um, intense, but it's no, it's no Cooper Road, or whatever it's called. Yeah, there's a question, uh, just a random question. What's your favorite version of that theme? Because I think mine might be Galaxy <laughs> One, or either either that or the Olympics. I mean, I haven't heard the Olympics version. Hmm. Version, so I might just go with the Galaxy One theme. Okay. What about Galaxy Two? What do you think about that one? 
because I'm aware there's a change between them. Oh yeah, uh, the Galaxy <laughs> Galaxy 2 is a lot more um, big band, if you will. Um, it, it makes it sound a lot more epic, but I prefer the way um, Galaxy 1 sounds because it makes it sound a lot more ominous, if you will. Okay, uh, just... See, I want to hear a 3D world version of. That would that would have been cool. Or the jazz. That's just jazz. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, I don't mind the castle theme in the 3D the 3D games as their own thing though. But yeah, that would have been cool. Right, just one more. Honestly, I could probably just. Yeah, um, I can, I can, I can just kill myself to get this because uh, we're done anyway. Oh no, no, no! I don't want that. No, that's a bad idea. Alright, and death. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's a, it's a thing that happens for some reason because like when you get a blue coin, uh, in the in the air when you're in the middle of hovering, the hover will deactivate as like as soon as you click uh, continue or save and continue, and that's basically the reason why you don't want to use hover. Wait, what am I doing? I need to. Uh, I need rocket to get back to Piano Village. Um. Uh, what was it? Um. Yeah, that, that's why you don't want to use hover to get the blue coins at the end there because. Unless you have like super good timing to use hover like right after you hit continue, you're just gonna end up falling into the lava each time you get a blue coin, so it's not really a good way to do that. Okay, final stage for this. And this basically just a scavenge around the whole whole area. Oh right, okay, um before we do this, I completely forgot about the secret shine here. Um where's the blue coin first off though? Uh, from the top of the large center spray the blue bird three times. Okay. So they right. I think it's uh I think it's like one up, up on this tree somewhere. Yeah, I think we can beat the game today. We only have like a little bit left at this point. It's gonna be really late, but oh well. I can make it. <laughs> how long is uh, how long we've been so far? Has it been over an hour? Uh, um, since the call started one hour, eleven minutes, but we didn't start okay. recording until. I think it's pretty good, blue bird. For Fourteen minutes, pardon me. Okay, well that's, that's fine. So from L to Helsinki. Mm -hmm. to Hawaii. There we go. Just got one more blue blue coin in the game to get, and um, it's in the airstrip, so... Dude, look at that odd number just taunting us. Yeah. Soon, my friend. Just, just wait how many shines we're gonna get with this. It's so so. I, I used to just uh, send in the blue coins uh, sporadically throughout my playthroughs, but it's so much more satisfying doing it all in one go, because it just makes the number go crazy high. Alright. No! I know, they want you to use rocket to get up here, but I find it much easier to just cheese it with hover, because it... Unless it just doesn't let me. <laughs> uh, because... Dang it. Okay, that's annoying. 
Come on, let's want some water. There's like no water in this place at all. Piazza, just having a good time. Oh crap. You know, if anything, I would I would like our Delfino in the uh, Odyssey just to see the Piantas again, because yeah, they're just fun character designs. So this is kind of a cool shine, actually. So you look at the the sun, and you just spray oh, it. Gosh, my eyes. Yeah, you just spray it. Gosh. It's a a little bit obscure, I guess, but it's uh, compared to like the spraying the the sign for the a blue coin or whatever. It's uh, honestly not too bad because like you're sitting on a platform that has like a shine thing on it, and um, you look up, you you look at the sun, you kind of just put two and two, to, uh, two and two together. And well, this level also had you aiming at the moon at one point, so I guess it makes sense. That's true, yeah. Alright. So I, I kind of get lost in this uh, sometimes, so hopefully we can get these red coins without too much issues. One uh... <clears throat> yeah, I don't. I really don't like going up dangerous places like this. But you got any uh, topics uh, you want to talk about? Because uh, this is basically just going to be. Going around the area looking for looking for these coins, so there's not much to talk about here. Talk about E3 because this video is going up in July. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah, E3 is in a couple of weeks from now, so. It will be dated. Yeah. So, a uh, question in the comments, was uh, E3 satisfying for you? Because uh, at the time of this recording, we have honestly no idea what to expect, for better or worse. Expecting salt. Yeah, that's, that's fair. <laughs> Uh, expecting a lot of salt. Um, I would like I would like a new punch out for the switch. Don't think that's likely at all, but that would be nice. Just list all the games we want that are happening. Okay. Um. Uh, F Wii music. Wii music. <laughs> Oh, I'm being serious here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that'll be, that'll be. Uh, I can see that being like an like an eShop tile. Let's see, yeah. new Mario Baseball, like standalone Mario ba Baseball. Um, I'd be cool with that. Blinks. Oh yeah, that game. That series had like two games, didn't it, and just died. Hmm. Shame. Because it looks like an interesting kind of platformer. I was mentioning this with Andrew yesterday. I'm not even sure Blinks can be considered up there because you don't really. <laughs> you don't really what? 
much platforming in the first Blinks game. Mm. So search and destroy. Oh, fair enough, I guess. This is a un very unique kind of game, though. Like, I like that whole idea of um, using weird time powers to like change things or whatever. I don't know that much about the game. I remember seeing a review of it at one point, but it's been a bit. Yeah. This cat who works for uh, basically a time police. We're <laughs> saving a princess. That's no. Oh man. Only a mask game can have a plot like that. Yeah. <laughs> Last two red coins are. Um, is one here? No. What didn't I get? I'm hoping this game has decent draw distance, so hopefully I can. See it. I don't see it anywhere. Oh wait, there's one on the tree I just remembered. The one near the all-inclusive fruit tree? Yep. And now we just need one more. Um, I don't think it's on the massive cloud uh, over over there because I f I'm pretty sure that's just where the shrine goes, but I could be wrong. But Actually, I don't. Yes, from the red toolbox, rocket into the gold mushroom. Look up and find some stationary cloud platforms that you can stand on. Okay. Hmm. Man, we've uh, breezed through this stage uh, faster than most levels in the game, to be honest. person so you're supposed to rocket jump oh okay okay it might actually be where the secret shine was oh yeah i suppose so yeah <laughs> you should use a platform Oh, well, I grabbed onto this. Okay, be, please be nice, don't make me die or something silly. I think it's supposed to send me to the clouds. Eventually. Oh, here we go. a bit, but... <laughs> we. It's kind of scary. Like we're just over a pit now. Please tell me you go up, because, uh, you're way too low right now. Yeah. Did you get the red coin by the swing? The swing, I think so. 
What about the one under land, but over the great maze? Oh. No. Okay, I think I know where, where it is now. Hopefully we can, like... Okay, where is this going? Because, uh... Oh! Okay. Well, that's a beginner's trap. I honestly, I honestly thought that was gonna go to the uh, clouds at the top, but apparently not. Sorry about that. Rip. Oops. No, it's fine. At least, at least you know what to do now. Okay, let's just get this one out of the way. I should have known there was uh, one down here, but for some reason I just didn't think there was. There it is. Nope. Hmm, what other ob obscure series would you like to see come back? What now? Uh, what other obscure series would you like to see make a comeback? In Frenzy. Hmm. Well, Xbox Party Game series. Oh. <laughs> Uh, um, hmm. in Capcom fighting game franchise, <laughs> still around. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm good. I'm spoiled. I, all my IPs, are, all my favorite IPs are either, either they already came back. Yeah, uh, yeah, we got we we got it pretty good right now. It's not like I'm uh, I'm a... Hmm. I I would like a new Rayman game, like e even if not Rayman Four, just a new Rayman. But I mean, Rayman Legends of 2013, I think, is a could do a lot worse, I guess. Like there there are other series that have been. That have been dead for much longer. The Persia. Yeah. I, I remember that, that franchise used to, that franchise used to be everywhere for a while, and then. Yeah, it just kind of died. I think it's time for idols to bring back Legacy of Kane. <laughs> yeah. That is a, that's an IPM surprise that has just never come back outside of like a... Apparently. Mm. And uh, we're still waiting for a new Shenmue. Oh yeah. This is supposed to come out again. Who's making Streets of Rage 4 actually? Find out. Uh, developer called Guard Crush Games. Hmm. It's not developers I'm familiar with. And it's two developers: Blizzard Cube and Guard Crush Games. Okay. Alright, just grab onto this. Wee. Like how, like, we're so far out now that the music changed. <laughs> I 
Okay, we're officially done with the major levels now.